Hey everyone, I'm Jean Rydberg and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about the RC1 TTL receiver for DS strobes. The RC1 attaches to almost any Eichlite DS series underwater strobe and provides TTL operation with a wide variety of Olympus and Panasonic cameras like the super popular Olympus TG6. Check the link in the description of this video for compatibility. The RC1 is useful for Eichlite housings as well as those by Nauticam, Aquapaza, Rexy, and others. So what does it do? Basically, you're giving your camera a remote control for your underwater strobe. Just turn the strobe on and the camera will tell it how much to fire for perfect exposure on each photo. But better photos aren't the only advantage to the RC1. It also extends the battery life of your camera because it doesn't use as much energy to fire the flash in the special flash mode. This will allow you to take more pictures faster. This is particularly useful if you're shooting a quick moving subject like a turtle and wanna get a few shots off before it swims away. Oh, now that we've decided to use the RC1, let's see how to attach it to our system. I'm going to show you with the DS51 strobe, but you could also use one of our professional level strobes like the DS160 Mark II, the DS161, 162, or DS230 strobes. What I'm going to do is remove the protector cap from the plug end of the RC1. And once I remove it, I'm just going to set it aside and do the same thing with the bulkhead cap of my DS51 strobe. Now you can see that whoop, the bulkhead on my strobe and the plug on the RC1 are both using black colored aluminum fittings. If your strobe has a silver colored brass bulkhead, you're going to want to take special care to avoid the newer RC1 from seizing up on your strobe's bulkhead. That means you'll want to remove it after each day of diving to clean and lubricate the threads of the RC1 and the bulkhead. Since I'm using all aluminum, I could leave this attached through pretty much my entire week of diving before I'm done with my trip and I want to disassemble my gear and clean it and put it away. So once I'm ready to go, I'm going to line up the pins and receptacles on the plug and the bulkhead. So each pin has a hole that it goes into and line up properly with. I'll just tighten this all the way down and it's attached to my strobe. Then I've got my fiber optic cord, which just plugs into the other end of the RC1 and plugs directly into my housing. On the strobe, I'm going to turn it on to TTL mode. That's just one click on this strobe, and I never have to touch this again the whole time I'm shooting underwater. I just leave the strobe in the TTL mode. And I want to make sure that my camera is set to the RC flash mode if I'm using an Olympus or the wireless flash mode if I'm using a Panasonic. So check your camera's instruction manual to make sure that you're in the right flash setting. And once I have that set up, all I do is take a picture and my strobe fires. And again, the camera is telling the strobe how much to fire depending on my relationship to my subject. So the camera is giving the strobe information for my perfect exposure. That's all there is to it. It's really simple and really fun whether you're shooting macro or wide angle. So have fun shooting your RC1 and if you have any questions about setup or want photo advice, please email us at ikelite at ikelite.com or leave a comment on this video and we are happy to help you with anything that you need related to underwater photography. That's it. Happy shooting.